At the beginning, we are introduced to a newly married couple, Rob and Gail. They has just bought their new apartment. Rob brings their belongings into the house while Gail puts utensils in the kitchen. She is bothered by an old fridge that had been kept in the apartment for years. Rob tells her that these old things have different technology than the modern one. He points out at the massive motor on top of it. But she seems frustrated and make fun of Rob's geekiness. After placing all the boxes she says they should drink some wine. Rob goes to the fridge and opens it to get some ice cubes. But to his surprise thick layers of ice have covered the whole freezer. He scratches some ice and puts it in his drink. Then they sit down and cheer for their new house. But after taking a sip Rob sees a strange structure in the ice. When he learns about the thing he is shocked to believe his eyes. He gives the cube to his wife and tells her that there is something inside. She takes a magnifying glass and they look into it. They see a tiny mammoth frozen inside the ice cube. They both get confused and surprised. They find the creature was hunted because it has spears on its body. Suddenly Gail goes back to the freezer and starts removing the pieces of ice. The freezer reveals a tiny medieval civilization. The time inside seems to be passing by faster as the people go about their normal day in seconds. They both are shocked and amused by the visuals. They say how this can be possible. The people inside seem to be unworried about the giant humans watching them. Later Rob buries the dead mammoth under their house plant. But Gail again make fun of him and opens the freezer once again. They notice the medieval time has changed to the industrial revolution. They find when they were away from the freezer decades have passed. They see people creating tall buildings and houses in seconds. Rob feels sad as he wanted to see the renaissance time but missed. They also wonder if the tiny people inside think they are gods. Just then two workers inside the freezer complain about the idiots who watch them every day. They say that they are tired of looking at women's broccoli teeth. Within a time the industrial area changes into the modern era and giant skyscrapers are created. Tiny things are flying over the buildings and Rob is confused about it. Gail tells him that they might be airplanes. They stares in fascination as the time changes to the present. Suddenly Rob notices a Starbucks building and laughs at the tiny life. He moves closer to get a better view but suddenly a giant bright missile launches at the civilization. Rob falls back to the floor and his wife helps him. They notice the people inside are at a war and everything seems to be destroyed. The couple looks at humanity harsh future but they don't seem to be care. Gail closes the fridge claiming that the people cannot outgrow a war in a few minutes, so they should come back later. Then the two order a pizza and starts enjoying it. They forget about the nuclear war inside the freezer. After an hour, Rob say that they should check what is happening inside. They are afraid to open the freezer as they witness the extinction of humans. However, they get a pleasant surprise when they open the door. The war has ended and mankind has recovered from it. They notice flying cars and compare the futuristic world to the Emerald City. They learn humans have become too advanced than ever before. The futuristic world has a lot of skyscrapers connected with bridges in the beginning. But then a singular pyramid-like structure takes over. They assume that everyone is living inside the pyramid now. When the pyramid unfolds, it shows a diamond-shaped structure inside. That structure absorbs the whole city and soon a strange energy forms in the middle. Suddenly it burst out sending sparks of energy flying into the couple's kitchen. They watch in fascination as the sparks jump around the room like fireflies. They believe that mankind has unfolded the secret of the universe and are now traveling around the space that is beyond expectations. Then the sparks of light start converge into the sphere again and transfer into the freezer. At last the sphere indicates the end of the world. The couple watches the empty freezer in confusion. Rob wonders if they are coming back but his wife claims that it is unlikely. Then he unplugs the fridge and hugs his wife having witnessed the past, present, and future of humanity in past few hours. The next morning, the couple wakes up and continue their morning routine. However, the thought of last evening hasn't left their minds. So they decide to open the freezer for the last time to check if everything is really over. But to their utmost surprise, the era of dinosaurs has started. They see several tiny apes eating flesh from a dead dinosaur. They run away as the another creature attacks them. The episode ends as the couple continues to watch the tiny beings in their natural habitat. This episode shows the interesting concept of the whole creation and the end of mankind. The concept of both time and dimension is challenged by a magical freezer. It is only right to call the freezer a natural phenomenon because how it came into existence is never explained in the whole episode. In this short film we can witness a possible future of humanity that doesn't end in its extinction. It shows the possibility of humans finding out the universe and becoming one with it.
The ball of energy formed in pyramid is most likely a technology that allows humans to escape reality. After uncovering Evie's secret about the existence the ball of energy disappeared into thin air showing that humans changed dimensions. The film also provides hope for the future as the world inside the freezer recovered from the most devastating war that humans has ever seen. Make sure you have subscribed and turn on all notifications, so you can watch more videos like this.